Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to take a look at the Biotech's daily chart here via IBB and I'm going to give my analysis and my thought process and you're going to walk away from this video with some newfound knowledge on technical analysis as well as hopefully some profitable trade ideas based off of this free analysis video we're about to give you right now. But first, if you're not already a member at the tradinganalyst.com, give us a visit on the home page of the website and get to know us a little bit better. If you like these free analysis videos that we give to you on a daily basis, it's nothing in comparison to the membership you get when you sign up and join the premium membership. As soon as you sign up and join the premium membership, you're going to get instant access to the profitable trade alerts that our current members are getting on a daily basis. It's a great opportunity for you and we'd love to help you start making winning trades in the market. All right, so let's take a look at this IBB daily chart here and boy, big tankage that we saw here on the biotechs here and that is not a surprise to us or it should not be a surprise to you if you've been following along on these videos we've been doing here for you on IBB. If you're watching this for the first time, don't believe me, go ahead, watch these videos. Watch the videos we were doing back in uh, October, uh, or I'm sorry, the beginning of October. Start with October 9th, you'll see that video we pointed out we were going to head lower here on biotechs. Now, and we profited nicely as well within the membership. So just to kind of review really, really quick, because I don't want to take too much of your time up, but the reason we thought biotechs were going to head lower was because of this simple resistance. You can see right there, right here, right there. And then if you look on the weekly chart, going back uh, to right here, you can see from these highs to these lows right there, the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level was right there at 341. So we had the Fibonacci retracement level plus that resistance level um, in addition to a negative divergence on the indicators here on RSI. So we headed higher on price, uh, but the indicators were heading lower. Um, and it also looked just very similar to the last time we saw a decline. So um, you can see right here looks very similar to right here. And then this move right here looks very similar to this move right here. So we got a lot of things lining up here. Um, but the short trade to me, I think is coming to an end here um, soon. Uh, we were targeting here near about 320 um, and it's almost time to flip to the long side. And, you know, I'm saying flip to the long side. I have no bias about where biotechs um, are headed. They could go to zero. They could go to 500. It really doesn't make a difference to me. Uh, the only thing that I want to do is be profiting, profiting on whichever direction they are headed. And so right now we nailed the short trade, but now... Uh, we're coming into a long opportunity. So again, we don't care whether we go long or short. It doesn't make a difference to us, okay? So all we want to do is make money off of the direction that it's headed. So why do we like uh, biotechs for a long here against this uh, trend line? Well, because we've got this trend line. It's beautiful. Started back here last November. Got a bounce right here off of it. Here's another bounce right off of that trend line. And then we also have a Fibonacci retracement level. You can see right here, drawn from this major swing low to this major swing high, we've got the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level. And I teach this in the membership, so you're not going to get confused at all. These Fibonacci retracement levels are very useful, and we talk about them all the time in the membership. So we've got this Fibonacci retracement level matching up perfectly with this trend line so and as you can see you know last time we dipped right here and obviously um, if you remember back here we called for some downside as well but we also called for a bounce off of this level as well because of that trend line and it was also a previous resistance right there and then it turned into support uh, right there so again similar thing i think is going to happen right here um, is it going to bounce and, and go on to make new highs you know, I can't really say. Um, we've had a really nice uh, run here on biotech, so it could eventually break, you know, this trend line. But right now, at least in the short term, I think we can get at least a short term bounce, at least back up to about, 
you know, 328, 330 at the very least. Um, and then more than likely we'll come up here um, to fill this gap up here at about 335 right there. So that's what we're seeing on the biotech sector. So thank you for stopping by and watching this video, everyone. I really appreciate it. And I really hope that you learn a lot and you're learning a lot from watching these videos. If you want to take your learning and your trading a step further, then go ahead and sign up for the premium membership. As soon as you sign up and join the premium membership, you're going to get instant access to profitable trade alerts, just like the one that we alerted to members on this IBB short play. It's a great opportunity for you, and we'd love to help you start making winning trades in the market.